David, you're a Nationals MP, you represent, you know, rural Australia, the bush, etc. Um, I was down in Canberra recently, you'll have seen those hideous transmission lines along Hindmarsh Drive there, these massive great things. Now people, farmers, constituents of yours, can look forward to having these things through their paddocks, across their gardens. That's what's happening because under net zero, doesn't matter what you, if you object or not, it's going through. We've seen in the snow, we've seen all sorts of complaints. So tell us the feedback you're getting from rural, from, from your constituents. Look, there's red hot anger. There's no social licence for them to turn up and wipe out all the normal regulatory processes like the environmental uh, assessment. They're bribing people, giving them hundreds of thousands of dollars to put these unnecessary power lines through for these phantom solar projects that haven't even been built mm. and wind turbines. And all those grid and transmission costs, they're going to quadruple your bill. People are crawling over hot coals to come to Australia, invest their money, because they are going to get a regulated asset base return. So uh, solar farm only works 20% of the time on average, but they will be getting paid a fixed amount. Now the whole grid is worth $29 billion now and on Chris Bowen's figures there's about $60 billion at least of investment. So there's going to be a regulated return for all those owners. It's an investment for grid owners. It's not an investment for cheap electricity. No. Well, well Dan, you're seeing these ugly solar farms going up. If you fly between Melbourne and Sydney, they are take, they're just absolutely spoiling the landscape where they're installed. These panels are coming from China, I presume. How long do they last? Where do we dispose of them? All those sort of questions seem to be disregarded. It just seems like never mind the cost, never mind what goes into these panels, we're going to invest billions in it? Well, the investors are going to invest billions in it and they're going to get a return from your electricity bill. Yeah. Mm. That's what people don't understand. It's a grid for investors. It's not a grid for people using electricity. It's very, very expensive and it will be clipped onto your ticket that your retail provider will give you. And it's the same with wind farms. Um, you know, around Walker, they're turning that pristine country into an industrial park, 550 wind turbines in North Queensland. They're ploughing through uh, proposed rain, uh, rainforests and remnant vegetation. If a farmer was knocking down one tree, he'd be in trouble. He'd be in jail, yeah, and, exactly. And they have just been given a leave pass by all these things. But it's destroying our grid stability. It needs, it needs inertia and frequency and voltage control, which a power station does. And if we're going to de-industrialise or de-fossilise our industry, the thing with nuclear, it not only generates electricity, it generates industrial heat. So a lot of processes that we do in Australia, heavy industry, can use the industrial so heat. And solar panels and wind never give that. So is the coalition, is Peter Dutton going to come out with a coal to nuclear plan, a solid plan that he's going to take to the to the election because we're hearing hints about it, but are we, are we actually going to see? Oh well, there's good reasons. There's good reasons. There's hints about it because people like me and all these engineers have been doing exactly that all around the world. Mm. But we are the last of a kind. We're not the first of a kind. We're the last of a kind. The rest of the world has worked out this experiment in Canada, in Europe, in the UK, with reliant on wind and solar generated puts your sovereignty at the mm. whim not only of the weather but most of this renewable uh, stuff is made in China and yeah. it puts us at the mercy of China 100%. Dr David Gillespie great to have you on as always and thanks for, for, for warning us about what's coming down the road and coming to a property near you unless you speak up the nationals are on to it shame Labor aren't.